Rocket Listeners. Here we go! And all this is.
little herds. Hello. <laughs> we managed to capture these guys. They survived. <laughs> the opening night. We're just seen a Halloween video, but we've got the guys live now. How did it go for you? <laughs> name check first. Kai. Name check. Uh, my name is Kai. <laughs> Kai. Kai. K A I. Kai. How did this incredible event go for you guys today? Incredible, eventually. Eventually. Incredible, eventually. Yeah. 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 No, it was, great. it was great. It was fun playing Donington, really. One of the hardest jobs in the world to open up at Donington and survive. I mean, you guys got a great response from the audience. That must have been pleasing for you. Oh yeah, it was really pleasing. Of course it was. So, where, where does this take you from, Donington? Where do you go? Where else do you go to promote your album? We go home to Hamburg, and yeah. then we do some rehearsals for uh, uh, starting our Iron Maiden Europe European tour on uh, September 2nd. And then there's uh, quite a few m another months of rock shows there in Europe. Yeah, there is. Like yeah. for the first time, a months of rock tour in uh, Europe. Yeah. Like like it was <laughs> the same in the states, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's our next plans. Yeah. An interesting statement. I will get this one right. You've introduced keyboards onto the stage. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So what was we, we did that before. We did that on the German Monsters of Rock and some tours before, but they were more hidden. Now yeah. this time you could see them very well. But uh, really? now we got a fixed, yeah, yeah. some cool. kind of a fixed keyboard player for touring. This is England. You'll get my jacket. Uh, lots of uh, <laughs> keyboards on the, the album, mm -hmm. keyboard stuff, and so for bringing it over live, we need a keyboard player. So would you say you're changing your direction and trying to lose the thrash tag? Well, uh, I think we never have been, except on the walls of Jericho and so on, but from Keeper One it was uh, getting away from, from real thrash. I think it was still heavy in a way, but uh, more classical. I was just going to say that. Yeah, classical yeah. and orchestra, and this is the direction I think we want to go more into. I agree with you, it's a good yeah, balance there. The, the bands we've talked to recently, like Metallica and Anthrax, it was, the thrash tag was all right when the original bands uh, started off, but there's a lot of bands that have jumped on the bandwagon now. Yeah. So uh, yeah. we, it's like, well, forget the tag, thrash. Just come and see Halloween and see Halloween for what we are. Yeah, this is the music right. we do. Right, yeah. We're not thrash, we're not, uh, we're just yeah, rock and we're roll. Just, we're just Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, what do you think to the British audience? Well, they were, yeah. <laughs> there was, yeah. there was, yeah. yeah. yeah no, <laughs> they, were, they were great. Can you give us any news of what you're going to be doing in the future? European tours yeah. or anything like any that? Any gigs lined up? Apart? Any gigs in the UK? Lined yeah, up? We, uh, we, we might do a UK headline tour in oh, great. end of October. UK headliner? Yes. Nice yes. one. It's uh, Germany and UK we do headlining. So we can see plenty of action from Halloween in Europe over the next few oh, months yeah. or so. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, definitely. we wish you good luck with that, lads. We do. Yeah. Very Congratulations. Yeah. Very good Thank performance with the la these Thank lads. They Great survived. performance. Survived. Open night. Excellent. Okay, lads. Cheers. All the best. Halloween. Halloween. Woo! Thank you. Halloween. No Give me hands. We've got hands. We've got hands. We've got hands. We've got hands. Yay! <laughs>
interview people in some crazy places, but never a tour bus. This is new. <laughs> Many thanks to Axel from Guns N' Roses. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing great. Just I'm doing great. His you guys are out. <laughs> <laughs> out on stage. Are, my knees are history. <laughs> my knees are history. <laughs> knees are history. <laughs> How's it gone today? Today's gone great. I had one of the best times of my life. Coming in here thinking it would be the, one of the worst times of my life. Because I heard some of my horror stories about Darlington, it was pitiful. Well, it was an odd job for you, and you've won a lot of fans, would you say? Um, I don't know if we won a lot of fans or not, because they knew the words to the song. I mean, they sang so many of our songs that, you know, it was amazing. And I was really surprised at the crowd response. I was like going, wow, if every one of these people would have bought a record, we'd be even doing better. <laughs> yeah, but you're not doing bad with your first album, let's be right. No, we're not doing bad at all. <laughs> we, we played around the country and play um, your albums, and... Uh, you guys over the last 12 months have really took off in the uk people are really tipping you as like the next type of aerosmith rock and roll band just get up there and enjoy yourselves is that the way you guys want to be just look this is rock and roll get up there and let's party yeah people like try to classify our music uh, and, and try to get us to classify it you know our easiest answer is it's rock and roll it's hard rock but you know basically it, you know it's starting to develop that basically we just say well our music is whatever type of song we choose to play at the moment yeah you know so and it's like because i watch the crowd and i watch the crowd for the other bands you know and like you know some of the metal bands the crowd just kind of moves their fists and like this with us we had them doing we had them dancing we had them bouncing we had them <laughs> slamming, we had them clapping different songs they did different yeah. things are going to do a tour of Europe on the next record and probably before we do an American tour and we were hoping to tour with Metallica you know this fall but we feel that it would take too much time before we get another album out so but we're not going to be one of these bands that goes we'll only play America but uh, <laughs> screw that and we'll be back great that's a nice okay statement. then thank you a lot so all the roses. best with the Guns N' Roses rocking Darlington there's a hole in the market somewhere let's go and fill it you know it's like that big hole Led Zeppelin left somebody's filled it success is neither here nor there you know it's just the fact that you do either keep it going or you lose it welcome aboard air swatch flight 229 to prepare for takeoff please be sure your seat belts are securely fastened Our cruising altitude is 35,000 feet. Please feel free to move about the cabin. Thank you for flying Air Swatch. We hope you'll choose us the next time your plans involve air travel. From Touchstone Pictures, Eddie Valiant thought he had seen everything until he met Jessica Rabbit. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Her effect on men is scandalous. Tablet and watercolors, Eddie? Her story is unlike any other. Oh, honey bunny. Who framed Roger Rabbit? My offer stands firm. A Steven Spielberg presentation, a Robert Zemeckis film.
Hi, I'm Adam Curry, and I lived in Amsterdam for 15 years, and now I'm stationed in the place formerly known as New Amsterdam, and now it's called New York. I'm going to be on your MTV every week with a program called Get This Brainstorm Time, The Adam Curry Show. I'll be bringing you some great music, some info, and a few stories about the wild and wacky USA. It's going to be kicking. Welcome back, Metalheads. Straight back from the break with Dave and Chuck from Megadeth. Yes. Hey. How are you doing, so, boys? Fine, yourself. So, Europe's been waiting a long time for Megadeth, and here we are. At last. we I told you, one day we'd catch these guys. <laughs> it has to be one of the biggest events in the world, the Donington Monsters Rock. You guys are going on very shortly. How do you feel? A little bit tense? Cold. cold. A little bit cold. <laughs> it's freezing here today. Yeah, you guys get it too hot over there. You know what I mean? You get all the sunshine. We get all the rain. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'd like a trade for some right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking forward to going on stage, Chuck? Oh yeah, man. This is like lifetime ambition. You've this been looking cool. forward to doing oh, yeah, it. Oh yeah, remember the Rainbow? Remember the Rainbow album? Oh, oh yeah. I used to listen to that, man, and be like, yeah. Really? <laughs> now I'm playing, and it's like. Oh, Rainbow was the first band headline this yeah. event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dave, is this the biggest event Megadeth have ever played? I've played a lot bigger in my dreams, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, haven't we all? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, what? bigger than this. <laughs> Uh, well, we won't get into that. No, okay. this is seriously the biggest thing we've done. Yeah. You know, hopefully it won't be the last. Having said that, though, your album so far so what so good. It's done some really good sales. I don't know what the official figure is, but I mean, every time we talk to some rock fans, they've bought your album. You're creating quite a big following. To say you don't really play over here that, that often in Europe, you've got a big following. Yeah, we try not to exploit ourselves. A lot of bands, they burn themselves out by doing that. And, uh... I think it's better to leave them wanting more than, you know, mm. give them too much. What? Go on, mate. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, Dave, the cover versions, will you be dropping them in the near future? Or are you going to stick to some more cover versions? It depends. You oh. know? I yeah. mean, we never set out to do a cover. It's always just been something we've done, and uh, mm. it just ends up sneaking on the record. Then it's, it's working know. well for you, Chuck. Yeah, How do you do prepare that. for a gig like this then, Chuck? Because it's obviously just like different. You lay back, man. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> have a couple of like at seven. <laughs> look out in the crowd for some girls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not even looking for some girls, will you? Yeah, I saw two nice blondes on the way in. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> what about Japan? How yeah, did that go for you? How did that go for you? That's strange. Strange. The Japanese, have they, have they started <laughs> moshing yet? Well, sort of, yeah. What? So they're, they're supposed to like sit down and like fold their hands and it can only scream after a song but a lot a lot lately for us they've been moving around um i know a lot of people that have come over here and done concerts here i mean i went to japan and it's still been kind of basically the same but i don't know it's it, it's always a blast going over there because it's such a cultural well yeah <laughs> nice and here and i've had to move back because i can't get chuck on camera i mean this is a all That's the time better. this is here he is chuck's here <laughs> Oh, you can't, you can't look at this, you can't look at this, because I'm going to ask you, have you got any new videos coming on the screen soon? Well, um, we did record a video for In My Darkest Hour, but uh, <laughs> some people chickened out on playing it because um, they said it was about suicide, so we won't get into that. But um, uh, the newest video we have right now is Anarchy in the UK, and we filmed that with English audiences yeah. to give it more of a, a feeling for it. We had a... Steve Jones from the Sex Pistols playing it too, so it's about as um, as crossed over American English as you can get. We've taken a little tidbit. I mean, there, mm. <laughs> there's not much more we can get English in that besides English vinyl. Well, yeah. we we play it, Dave, in uh, on our road shows, and it goes down really well, Des. Yeah. Got a really tre tremendous um, response to that uh, particular cover version. Yeah. <laughs> Do you find um, playing in Europe? Do you have to? change the show slightly is it a different audience or is it do you, do you prefer europe to play i prefer europe over it now what the hell's up in here just don't you ask yeah sorry it's <laughs> <Okay. laughs> roth you always have to get in on the axe <laughs> i've got to wind up just one quick question megadeth the name megadeth there's european audience being asking the bailey brothers uh, what's the meaning behind the name Extremely bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, what, what it is is mega breath. It's mega breath, yeah. Mega breath. <laughs> it's supposed to mean a million deaths. Uh, um, when I when I came home from New York before I started uh, Megadeth, I was thinking of a name that would represent the band, you know, with the utmost heaviest ultra furious kind of moniker that would just like 
You know, you'd go, ah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's better than, you know, something... I don't know, something I had... Yeah. <laughs> it's better than something else. <laughs> wait, 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 yeah. Okay, Dave, Chuck. Have a great gig. You've got to go on stage very soon, so we've got to wind up. Um, could you pick a video for the laughs? You're getting ready. And for the viewers? <laughs> okay, we're getting ready. <laughs> well, you want to see Anarchy in the UK? Yeah. Yeah, I do, it does. Okay, all right, sorry. That okay. sounds good to us, Chuck. Anakin, Anakin UK. UK. Thanks a lot. Good luck today. Good to be here. Nice. Cheers. Everything gonna be all right this morning. Oh, yeah. But I make love to a woman She can't resist I want you to believe me, baby I have lots of fun
We could have called it return to remote control. We could have called it escape from remote control. We considered the new leave it to remote control. And there was even talk of remote control to the Colbys. But at MTV, we don't believe in phony hype. Announcing remote control, the next generation. All new episodes with all new contestants fighting their way to an all new craftmatic adjustable bed. Remote control, new shows, new fun, new weirdness. Same old channel, MTV. with the number one showman in the world, Mr. Darren Dave Lee Rowe. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, Dave. Thank you very much. Live in front of your naked, steaming eyes. What a, That's what a parade it is. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've been used to this, though. You've been back here before. That's why you brought the big boots. Oh, my. You know, well, this is, this is an outdoor show. This is an outdoor gig. And it goes way beyond just normal concert vibe. Yeah. You know, this goes way beyond just play the song applaud. This is a whole 
experience. This is the afternoon. This is the evening. This is the rain. This is the wind. <laughs> this is England. This is the, this is this the is shirt England. and everything. And you got to add it all in there. Otherwise, it's just another concert. And that's not why I came across the Atlantic. No. But you have played here before with Van Halen. You Actually, bet. four years ago, Dave. Uh-huh, 1984. Wasn't a very good atmosphere, I understand, that day. Well, you know... With Van Halen, it was peaking, you know, as do all great, great relationships, <laughs> you know. And it was a little tenuous there, but the crowd was spectacular. And the crowd in England in general is spectacular. The whole uh, theory of rock and roll really works well around Europe. And in a different kind of way a little bit than America. I can't believe it, okay? It's my honeymoon night, okay? Oh, we'll probably only have three or four more of these in my whole entire lifetime. And you, you check me into that dump, your brother calls a motel. For Consuelo, I gave him two dollars extra for the fantasy suite. Too bad, honey, too bad. I will not leave that. So tonight, you will have to fantasize that you have a wife, okay? Consuelo, mi amor, mi amor, Consuelo. Can I help you? Ooh, breath mint. Our lips are so close. Ooh, ooh. Not if you was the last immigrant grocer on earth, honey. Son of a brisky, my ancestors spit on your haircut. Can you help me? I don't know I have to take all of them. Not in my store, you don't. Ooh, ooh, ooh my friend. I always hang out with two of them because it's better for conversation. See if there winds up being any. I don't have to be involved. Forget about it. Oof. Oof. It's humid in here tonight, isn't it, girl? Give me a bottle of anything and a glazed donut to go. go, go, go.
Yankee Woo! Rose. Yankee Rose. <laughs> what a show, man. What a show, man. Well, Dave's still right with now, us. Right now, you think you're tuning into MTV's Met Family, you're tuning into Dave TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Dave Live TV. from Hollywood, direct. After yes. six months of no work. <laughs> <laughs> six um, months on the dough. Yeah, actually, we just finished the American tour. We did 102 shows in the continental United States. And wow. this is the first, this is the grand opening of the big half of the world here. So, whew, we're really excited. Yeah. That's some warm-up gig. <laughs> well, I, mean, I wanted to you make want to get this one right, but exactly. that's Exactly, I want to make sure they get the solo right, you know. <laughs> Dave, I must say that when I first saw it, Just Like Paradise, I never stopped putting the pause button on. Was that mounting for real? Oh, absolutely. That's something I've been doing since I was like a Boy Scout. I was, when I was 11 years old, yeah. you know, and started... It's my first uniform that they forced me to wear. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you keep yourself fit these days, Dave? Well, actually doing a lot of climbing. I just got an invitation from the climbing club in Finland where we're mm -hmm. going in Helsinki, and we managed to get out in a lot of places because I have the advantage of traveling all the time yeah. <laughs> and there's always a pile of rocks somewhere nearby <laughs> um, <laughs> beyond that you know I spent a lot of time uh, actually in the streets you know stick the hair up under the hat and get on my bicycle mm, and yeah. head off into the streets otherwise I'm not gonna have much to write about you know <laughs> yeah. or, I mean all that way up I mean when I was watch actually watching the video I thought you know there's Diamond Dave Lee Roth like at his peak of his career, like one slip from that rope, and there yeah, is a I mean, diamond leap. Well, like, yeah, Oof. you know, it, bye bye. It, it takes on that appearance, but you know, any climber will tell you, you know, once you get into a dangerous zone, then you have the capacity to stop right there and draw back. That's different than a motorcycle or a pair of skis.
Surfing's just like rock and roll. You know, you strap yourself to the front of the train and... You... Well, could I jump onto that point? Peter Pan, when you, when you was a kid, was your influence. Is that where the skateboard come from? <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't seen you fly yet, though, Dave. I mean, right. when, when we can see you fly? Well, you know, when we do tricks on stage, and I call them tricks, it's not effects. An effect is something like a laser beam or mm. a smoke pot, pyro, you know, yeah. some pyro or something. And, and all those are is money. So it's not a costly budget, then? If you have money, then you can buy a laser beam. And that's a lot. Like, remember Christmas when you were a little kid, and the kid down the street had a red new bicycle, and he didn't do anything to get it, and he stands out front of the yawn going, look at my bike. You remember what you thought about that kid. <laughs> so it's much the same as when I see laser beams and things on stage. <laughs> when we do tricks, these are things that could have been done 20 years ago. Mm. for the same kind of price. You know, you see the surfboard go by, oh, it is a piece of wood on the end of a wire. And where'd the, where'd the grand inspiration come from? No, we didn't hire some designer <laughs> stage guy, you know, with a new wave, whatever, you know, come in and design it for 100,000 bucks. It's as simple as I used to go see Peter Pan when I was six and seven years old. You get home, you know, from the family and tie a board up in the tree with a couple of ropes and have my sister pull the board back and I'd strap myself to the front of the board and slam right into 19. Have you ready? Real. Hi, I'm Mark Slaughter. I'm Dana Strom. I'm Vinnie Vincent. I'm Bobby Rock. Of the Vinnie Vincent Invasion. And you're watching MTV. Yeah. Woo! He's got 72 hours to deliver an embezzling accountant from the mob. Trap him! From the police. What are you doing? You promised to let me go? And from the FBI. But his biggest problem is... Cigarettes are killer. Why would you eat that? When's the last time you had a chest x-ray? Why don't you shut up and leave me alone? Robert De Niro and Charles Grodin star in Midnight Run. Persons. I haven't seen any of the gigs so far. I've been backstage, you see. However, I'm hoping to see some of it later, perhaps. You know, we're here together, me and the wife. <laughs> yes, but the baby's not due till September. Yeah, and it's killing me. I'm getting them sympathetic pains and shit. Now. You can't argue with a crowd this big. I don't intend to argue. I intend to go out and entertain. It's really good so far. It's going great, and um, yeah, everybody great so should be here. It's brilliant.
live backstage. We've had the hardest band in the world about to take the stage. What? Ten minutes time? Kiss. We've got Paul and Jane with us once again. We are very erect to be doing this show. It's a wonderfully terrific experience. Yes. yes. <laughs> and what about the attendance? It's a record attendance. The attendance, attendance is it's wonderful. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Over We're so pleased. Thousand. We sent out invitations to all our friends and said, please come spend the day with us. And lo and behold, we have 100,000 of our closest friends who came here to deliver a sermon on rock and roll and to let the world know that rock and roll is number one. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> love, happiness, oh, oh, black leather. Is, Amen. Oh, just, just for a second of seriousness. All right, well, that's over now. And I'm running right. for president. Let's yeah, see. good idea. Hey, Gene, why not? We have enough clowns. Yeah. Gene, how did, you, how did Japan go for you? How did my what? <laughs> how did Japan? <laughs> Japan! <laughs> I thought he said, how did my bang go for you? No, Japan was really fabulous. Uh, it was outstanding. We hadn't been there in actually 11 to 12 years, and we had to go back and visit some of our children. We ate a lot of raw fish. <laughs> <laughs> was it hot stuff for you, Gene, out there? It's great. It's really unbelievable. Oh, it's what they. Stuff. It's hey, our stuff, stuff, yes. Uh, it's our stuff. Oh, look, it's great. Well, it was great to it's look at the people's faces. And yeah, it was, it was <laughs> grand. I was. I'm hurting, I'm hurting myself. Well, <laughs> tell us, what, what's it feel like to be at Donington again, this time on your, on your own terms? Well, you know, last year was kind of like a little bit of foreplay, and tonight we all come Five together. Play. <laughs> no. You never give up, do you? Are we're you gonna, kidding? We're going to have a whale of a time in the Edison Suite again. <laughs> the, last thing we did in the, the, the thing we did with you in the States is the first thing we've ever had to edit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, you believe that. Yeah, yeah, the Bailey Brothers with Kiss. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that was useful. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have some new material today, Gene. We're going to do new stuff. Actually, we're going to start the set with Deuce and uh, really dig back and do a real sort of review of the past 15 years. Yeah. So <laughs> well, the show's going to be 15 years long. Right. Look forward to that. We'll see you in about 15 years' time. But it's great. We're obviously very honored to be here. And it's great to see you people. We love it's very you. Very good. Very good. I think everybody's going to have a good time. A splendid time is guaranteed for all. And the rain stayed away. I'm just going to say unbelievable. Well, let's just make no sure rain. we get on Talk before it starts <laughs> raining. Uh, I, th I think. I think. I think we better we get off playing. and get on. <laughs> get as soon on. as we start playing, it's going to start raining. Okay, listen. We're going to start tapping his toe.